watching a documentary on uh, how um, Alzheimer's develops or yes. dementia, and at the end of the documentary, they had analysed some brains, and they found some tangles, and and yet the person showed no cognitive decline. So mm -hmm. I remember watching the program, thinking, so. What does that mean then? Yep. Uh, and that's why I find myself a bit confused right. as to what causes the disease. Mm -hmm. wondered if you had anything to say on my observation. I do. That's absolutely right. Uh, people often say that people can walk around with a head full of amyloid, so to speak, right. and still be quite good at checkout counter and get everything right. Okay. And that is true. And that is like saying there are some people who have bad atherosclerotic disease in yeah. their heart, but they never had a twinge of angina or had a heart attack. Okay. Of course, we accept that that could happen, and they could die of a bus accident and have bad-looking arteries. And Alzheimer's is the same thing. Amyloid can build up years before symptoms, and in some people, the symptoms don't get expressed, and we know what's going on. It actually turns out that the plaques that store oligomers at the A-beta are not full. The garage is not full, and more wow. amyloid oligomers can get plugged there. Okay. There's beautiful work from Washington University in St. Louis that demonstrates that. So the A-beta oligomer, this little doublet or triplet of A-beta molecules, is the bad guy. And if it gets stored into plaques, and there's more room for more oligomers to get stored in plaques, then you get a head full of amyloid, and you're fine in your thinking. But as mm. time goes on, you have an excess of oligomers that can't get into the plaques anymore. So the plaques are protective for a while. Once they can't store any more oligomers, and the A-beta is made throughout life, that's what we showed years ago, then you get an excess of free oligomers, and they're around to bind to nerve cells and short-circuit synapses. That's how we think it happens, and this is in Alzheimer's disease, not in other dimensions.